Well, one in seven adults will develop chronic kidney disease in their lifetime, and the lives of nearly 470,000 people in the U.S. depend on dialysis treatment. Traditional dialysis therapy requires patients to visit a medical facility, sometimes three times a week, and they could be there for up to four hours. And that, of course, a pretty big chunk of time taken out of a person's life. So for Cetius Kidney Care, which operates clinics throughout the Capital Region, it's looking to make therapy easier by shifting the focus to at-home dialysis treatment. Joining me now to talk more about this are Dr. Vincent Carcillo and Lane McCarthy, the Regional Vice President of Fresenius Kidney Care. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Our pleasure. Thanks for having us. Mr. McCarthy, let's start with you first. Obviously, we kind of set this up here. This is the goal of you guys to kind of change the approach to dialysis treatment. Why do you think it needs to be changed? Well, I think that, you know, it, it, si simply stated, I think that when we know, the more we know about our own care, the better we are able to participate in it. So as we look at the aging population and the, and the growing incidence and the more patients really needing dialysis care as, as the years go by, um, for us to offer options that really fit the need for the right person. I think one of the things that we've, we've seen is in the United States, there's only about 8% of the population receives dialysis at home. Whereas you look at some other countries like Hong Kong where they have a change in public policy, they're over 70% of their patients receive dialysis at home. And so really part of, part of our mission is as we look at what, who our patients are and what do they need, you know, how can we best serve them as though they were our family members? You know, so really we're trying to think about, you know, if this was somebody that I care and that I love, how would I treat them? What would I do for them? How, what options would we be able to provide them? And so really with uh, Dr. Carcillo and the group, you know, we have some great programs here in the Capital District that are really, I think, setting the standard for um, home dialysis. In, in New York State. Now, doctor, he brought up an interesting point. He said the more we learn about kidney treatment, the more maybe treatment plans are shifting. I, in your practice and what you've learned, why is that so important to kind of move to a more home-based care network? It couldn't be more important, to be honest with you. And when I talk to patients about home dialysis, which is a passion of mine, the more I talk to people, the more they say, Wait, why aren't more people doing home therapies mm -hmm. then? Because I don't understand it. Everything you tell me sounds so great. And to be honest with you, there are so many great things about being at home, getting your care in the privacy of your home, being autonomous with your care, having the flexibility to do treatment, which is chronic therapy, something that people don't look forward to, and being able to do that around your own schedule so that you can live your life. And when you pull nephrologists, which they have, and you said, well, Let's say you had to do this yourself. What would you do? Would you do it in the center three times a week for four hours per treatment? Or would you do it at home? Oh, 95% say they would do it at home. So why don't we offer that to our patients more? Or maybe a better question is, why isn't it more commonplace? Why don't more patients get the option? Now, Mr. McCarthy, why isn't that more of an option? Well, I think that, you know, in reality, the industry has, has been created, and a lot of people, when they take when they receive medical care, they just want to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, so what we've done is we've really shifted the focus of how do we, um, knowing that, how do we let them feel like they're well taken care of even when they're in their home? So there's different technologies that we use to help the patients to be connected to us, you know, and so that we can see and understand what they're doing. Um, we have a patient portal that the patients can sign in their information, the nurse can see the information um, in the clinics, and then they can have feedback with the patient so that they, they feel that they are covered. You know, I think that it's, it's that security that a lot of people um, really rely on. And so really what we're tr we, we work towards is creating that trusted environment, you know, with the nurses, the talented nurses and the team that are able to provide the care for the patient. Now, doctor, is this an adjustment for you too? Because I know, uh, you know, as a physician, you're probably used to hands-on care, seeing your patient, being there with them. So getting this treatment at home, is that a bit of an adjustment for you? Believe it or not, it's actually not been an adjustment for me and for my group. We've always been very interested in home dialysis. And, you know, we talked about the statistics of only about 8% of patients are doing this at home around the country. In our group, it's upwards of 20%. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've been believers in this all along, and we've seen the results, and we've seen patients benefit from the lifestyle. I mean, we live in Albany, New York, right? It snows in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And if it's snowing outside and the roads are bad and they're icy and it's dark, you can have a cup of tea 
and you can do your treatment at home and you can let everyone else worry about the about the roads and the weather and everything else so we've been believers in this for a long time now the question is how do we introduce more patients to that and give more patients choice and more options and very quickly here with about a minute and a half that we have left you talk about giving more patients the option not a lot of people realize that this is a pressing issue so many people are dealing with this especially as they get older and especially as people are living longer right yeah. doctor oh absolutely absolutely and there are a lot of barriers let's be honest around the country there are a lot of barriers some patients um, are not well educated in what their choices are some physicians maybe not well trained in home therapies feel awkward about offering that that they're not so comfortable with in other uh, in other events it may be that the physician uh, the nephrologist seeing the patient says you know two weeks is too long to wait it takes about two weeks for a belly catheter to heal we've looked at those barriers as our as a practice and created some programs to enable those patients to get right to home therapies the next day and i think that's why our percentages are so high. And talking about those percentages, before we wrap up, you're yeah. at about 20% right now. I'm assuming you want those numbers to continue going up. Absolutely, and I think that what J Vince just talked about is really key to it. You know, when the new patient is introduced that there's a life-changing event, you're going to receive dialysis, for them to go directly to peritoneal dialysis and to be able to do it in the comfort of their home is a big deal, you know, so we're very happy. Uh, very exciting developments. We appreciate you guys shedding light on this. Thanks so much for your time today. All right. Thank Thanks you. for having us.